Good morning, uh, everyone. On this Tuesday in the 27th week in Ordinary Time, we're reading through the book of Galatians, and this time we're continuing where we left off, and we're in chapter 1, verses 13 through 24. Brothers and sisters, you heard of my former way of life in Judaism, how I persecuted the church of God beyond measure and tried to destroy it and progressed in Judaism beyond many of my contemporaries among my race. Since I even more a zealot for my ancestral traditions, when he, who from my mother's womb had set me apart and called me through his grace, was pleased to reveal his son to me so that I might proclaim him to the Gentiles, I did not immediately consult flesh and blood, nor did I, nor did I go, go up to Jerusalem to those who were apostles before me. Rather, I went to Arabia and then returned to Damascus. Then after three years, I went up to Jerusalem to confer with Cephas and remain with him for, eight, for 15 days. But I did not see any other of the apostles, only James, the brother of the Lord. As to what I am writing to you, behold, before God, I am not lying. Then I went into the regions of Syria and Cilicia, and I was unknown personally to the churches of Judea that are in Christ. The only kept hearing that the one who once persecuting us is now preaching the faith he once tried to destroy. So they glorify God because of of me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So we heard last uh, yesterday about the importance of this letter, that there was another gospel, which, as Apostle Paul said, isn't really a gospel. It's not even a gospel. It's not good news. But he has to give a reason why the gospel that he shared with the folks there in Galatia is truly the authentic, real gospel. So then we have this explanation of his background, letting us know he persecuted folks because of this gospel. He was one of them who was zealous to do this So it gives credibility that as he speaks now, he does this because there has been a major transformation in his life. He knows the truth, and that truth came from the Lord himself. And he wants to make crystal clear to the folks that the gospel that he shared with them initially is truly the gospel that they ought to believe. So it's all setting the stage for this important uh, letter to the folks there. Let's stay safe, folks, one another, and continue to pray for us priests as we are out. We'll be, uh, I'm recording this early, we'll be out uh, on the beach for a convocation with all the priests. Stay safe. Hopefully we'll see each other soon. Bye for now.